Welcome to the third episode of the Great Guitar Build-Off. We have our supervisor. Thank you. We have our body. We have our new neck. So you know what time it is, right? Close any time. Exactly. That's that was a bit loud, but exactly. It's close on any time. So once again, we're gonna make it. Hopefully it's gonna turn out better. Without further ado, work. First of all, what happened here? Why did it go dark? Do we know why this actually happened? Do we have the scientific results? Gosh darn it. Give me those pictures of Spider-Man, Parker. So I contacted the seller and asked her, how could this happen to me? I made my mistake. And she told me, this is probably because of the color of the background, because the background is dark. So that got me thinking, hmm, she might be up to something. So I did a little bit of testing. Made this plexiglass tester, cut a couple of windows, fill them up with sand, and covered the sand with epoxy. So and the conclusive results are, drum roll please. It really depends on the color of the background. As you can clearly see, the color changes depending on the color of the background. So now with the sufficient scientific data provided with this, we can start making the new neck. So just like that, we have our new neck. Doesn't the new neck look awesome? Hopefully the lighter color blue, sand and the white background are gonna contribute to a nicer looking neck. So without further ado, let's get to mind bending. While you're bending and gluing. A quick design change. Unlike on this neck where I was thinking on placing the trussard cover on top of the cloisonne, this neck is gonna have the trussard cover inset, plus it's gonna contain the cloisonne, so the pattern's gonna look undisturbed, plus it's gonna contain my logo. Huh? Huh? That's a brave idea. I hope I can execute the idea, so without further ado, let's get seriously to bending. So you decided you're gonna make cloisonne art. How hard could it be, right? Brave choice. Here's what you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna need some sharp pointed tweezers. These are gonna help you bend the wire and place the wire itself. The second thing you need is some sharp pointed scissors. These are gonna allow you to cut the wire to length. But those scissors are gonna be useless if you don't have some flat wound wire to place along the lines you've drawn. So you're gonna need some flat wound aluminum wire in my case, which is painted gold. But now that you have the flat wire, you need something to glue it on, right? So, this is where the E7000 glue, at least in my case, comes into play because it's perfect for me because I can just put it on, start bending until the time I bend the wire. It's dry enough, so it just holds the wire. It gets dry in probably 24 hours. Perfect glue for poison A. Cloisonne wouldn't be cloisonne if it, you didn't have some colored sand, so this is where the colored sand comes into the play. But how are you gonna drop the colored sand into the grooves between the wire? Well, of course, you're gonna use some droppers to help us along the journey of putting in the colors. So this is basically it what you need for making cloisonne. Pretty simple, right? So the first thing you wanna do is to choose a material that has a light color. In my case, I had to paint the background white because I had a reaction with the color. As you can clearly see, the blue is dark blue. It changed from light blue to dark blue. So in my case, I painted the background white. The second thing you wanna do is to transfer the pattern of your choice onto your workpiece with a transfer paper, laser, whatever the method. So the next thing you wanna do is cut the wire into shorter pieces. It's gonna help you with the bending because you don't have to carry all the wire. For bending the wire, I use a paper template on which I pre-bend the wire, then glue the wire onto the workpiece. It's much easier because I can apply the glue on the line, start bending, and I don't have to worry about smearing the glue. And also, the glue gets dry enough, so I can just place the bent wire right away onto the glued surface, and it holds.
And now it's time to do the big thing, so more bending ensues. It's going slowly but surely. The worst part yet to come is gonna eat a lot of wire, but I have more wires, so I hope there's nothing to worry about. Done with day two, so let's see what tomorrow brings. So, after almost 30 hours of pure bending, we're ready to apply the sand. I like the logo because it just blends in. I also like the... Wait, are you... Wait. Who are you? Uh, ma'am, uh, ma'am, can you keep it English, please? Oh, sí, claro. <clears throat> so you think those are some waves you haven't seen anything? Back in my home island of Isla Partida near Panama, I served my whole life since I was a little egg. I served those waves. Once I served a wave, the trapper called the whole. No, 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 I don't care really. Oh, really? cool story, well, but let's listen to the story, please. please. Without further ado, let's start applying the colored sand. Let's go. And now that the headstock cloisonne is completed, we can start working on terrestrial cover cloisonne. So, let's go! And the terrestrial cover is completed. I chose black sand because glitter effects of course but it would be stupid not to choose the black sand and probably because the white would kind of blend too much in so black sand it is because it's fabulous so next step the big 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 deal the body We're progressing slowly but surely. I'm gonna start with the volcano. It's gonna be something like that, I think. It's gonna be weird. But look at it. Look at it. What I do. 
Just this portion took all of my hacking sand. Luckily, I have two. After three days of straight dropping all the sand everywhere in little spots, little crannies, little nooks, it's safe to say we're done. I think it looks very nice, very cool. What do you think? What did you say? So next step, epoxying the surface. And now for one of the most scariest thing of them all. It's not ghosts, it's not taxes. It's resin time on this beautiful body and the head. You know what happened last time. Take it away, Lily. Do the replay. And yes, those are my traumatic experiences with resin on this guitar. Hopefully this is gonna be better, so... Wait, what happened to you? What? I just sneezed. Ah, bless you. So, I clogged every hole. I'm gonna put the old neck here, so we close off the neck pocket from getting resin, because I don't wanna get resin in the neck pocket, especially because I wanna still glue it with normal glue. So, without further ado, resin pouring time. Let's go. So a week has passed since I poured the epoxy, it's nice and cured. So the next step is to sand everything nice and flat and then continue with the normal things people do while making guitars, right? I don't know, what's the next step? Probably fretboard, but sanding first, let's go. So everything is nice and sanded, it's not perfect because there's still loads of work to do so there's a lot of chances that the guitar is going to pick up some scratches, but the next thing is going to be the fretboard. Stop right there criminal scum, you violated the law. What are you, some kind of a video police? Your video is going for too long. Now, I'm, I'm going to do the fretboard still, okay? If you don't comply with the rules. We will have to stop the video ourselves. Come on, she has a fretboard like 20 more minutes. We can't allow you. Please. End it right now. Okay, I guess you don't wanna bargain with me, so I'm gonna call it quits for today's episode. Any other things I have to do, officer? Patreons gosh quack. It's the law to shout them out. Ah, patrons, thank you.
What? Who are the patrons again? Inveris. Yes, the second one. Mariah. And the third one. The manager. The, come on, the third one is the most important one because she doesn't want to be a manager because Lily is the real manager. Scrimps. Scrimps. Ah yes, Scrimps. So, thank you for joining me, everyone. I've been cut short by the video officer, so thank you for joining me and good night. Thank you.